Hello there, this is Cool Dude Clem. And pretty soon, I'm going to release something amazing upon the world! Okay, it's not that exciting. Well, it's kind of exciting, but anyway. As some of you may or may not know, I like to make music on my computer. And if you've ever visited the channel Cool Dude Clem Rocks, you can find some of my work there. You know, it's mostly covers of demo scene tunes and video games. And I haven't updated that channel in quite a while. I intend to in the future, but I've just been too busy with other things. This being one of them. Now, what I've done is I've decided to get all the instrument files and all the effects that I use in my music all together along with a pre-configured copy of Modplug Tracker and then you can just put this on your computer and it's all ready to go. You don't have to set anything up, you know. You can just use it right out the box. I've scanned all the files that are in the zip. They're all clean, so there's no viruses to worry about. And also, this way I can upload my music in its original form and then you can play it on your copy of Modplug Tracker and hear it the way it was intended to be heard. But what I want to do is I want to make an EXE from this zip that just that you can just click on, it puts the files onto your computer, you know, you don't have to worry about where to put the files because that'll all be, you know, automated. So this program I've got here is supposed to do that. Now, I've done some experiments with this and I did manage to make an EXE from a zip and it unzipped the files to the folder where I wanted it to do it. But for some reason, it's decided that it's not going to work now. So, I put my file in, tell it where the EXE will extract the files to. Okay, I'm going to start it going. And then, five minutes later, I'm greeted with this lovely error. So apparently, there is some file somewhere that is being used by another program, so this thing cannot complete making that EXE file. But it doesn't say what program is using the file, and it doesn't say what that file is. So I've got absolutely no hope of ever fixing that problem. Now I've tried a few things. I've tried running this on my other computer, which runs Windows XP, and I get exactly the same problem. I've Googled this to death, I seem to be the only person in this entire universe of billions and billions of planets that's actually having this problem. The closest thing I could find to a solution, which might work, but it didn't, was to stop Explorer EXE, which I did, and I still get the problem. And of course now I've no longer got a start menu, but you know, I can get that back just by rebooting the computer. So if anybody does know what's going on with that, and if there is a way I can make this work, then, yeah, please leave a comment below. Because I would really love to get this out there. I think this is something that every bedroom music producer has been looking for. I mean, there are some really top quality sounds in this collection. And you think the file is really big, but it's, well, it is kind of big. It's 2.5 gigabytes, but it's not that big, so, yeah. When I've got this sorted, I will put that out there on the web. I'll find some web hosting site that you can download it from. And like I said before, this is absolutely safe. There's no viruses. It's not going to change any settings on your computer. It's not going to screw with the registry or anything like that. It's, if I could just get this software to comprehend, that would be great. So anyway, yep, I'm still here. I'm still alive. And this is why I haven't been on YouTube much just lately. But anyway, until next time, goodbye.